There is growing momentum behind a plan to extend the time between the first and second doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna vaccines. BC is stretching that time to four months. The aim is to get at least one dose to more people, giving them at least partial protection. Now other provinces are signaling they could do the same. Abigail Beeman looks at the reasons and what difference it could make. BC is the only province to delay a second dose by 16 weeks, but the National Advisory Committee on Immunization is expected to release new recommendations on the safe interval between doses this week, and many other provinces are excited to follow suit. With the variants of concern out there, this could make a significant difference for Ontario in reducing hospitalizations and deaths. So we are considering that. We have looked at the, there's uh, fantastic evidence. This anticipated guidance is a significant development development and a game changer for PEI. On the island, it could mean everyone over 16 gets a first dose by the end of June. What we're anticipating coming from NASI is quite a game changer for us. It's unfortunate that BC got out ahead of a, a national process. While some are critical of more than just the timing of BC's move. When you decide to try something new uh, on an entire population, it, it, it amounts to, um, to a human experiment. Canada's chief science advisor says while there is an argument to be made for a delay up to 56 days between doses based on data, she hasn't seen any data supporting what she calls a huge jump to four months. I am uh, concerned that we are confusing the public uh, with 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 uh, just like many different uh, uh, guidance, uh, you know, studies here, studies there. I think the real debate is how far can you extend the second dose? That's probably the more contentious point right now, not whether or not you can extend the second dose. I think most people would say you sure, you sure can. Canada's top doctor said Tuesday, like with so many aspects of the pandemic, the science continues to evolve. Dr. Teresa Tam says the question of intervals between doses will continue to be monitored as more evidence comes in. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.